Ukrainian forces have developed a new aerial defense system using tethered aerostats as platforms for launching intercepted drones against incoming threats, according to images circulating on social media platforms. The system, mounted on balloons produced by Ukrainian startup Aero Bavovna, appears designed to detect incoming Russian long-range kamikaze drones using infrared cameras before launching counter drones to intercept them. The war zone reports images show the current configuration includes a launcher for a single fixed-wing kamikaze interceptor drone and a sensor array suspended beneath the aerostat. The elevated position provides critical advantages for the early detection of threats. In general, elevating any sensor system helps provide a better line of sight field of view toward the horizon and improved look-down coverage. TWZ explains, the aerostat appears to function as both a detection platform and a launch system with infrared sensors mounted underneath the balloon to spot approaching threats. Aero Bavovna currently advertises its aerostats for surveillance, communications, and a signal relays for first-person view FPV kamikaze drones, making this application an extension of their existing capabilities. If the aerostat-mounted drone interceptor system works, it could offer a useful addition to Ukraine's defense arsenal that could be readily deployed across the country. The war zone notes, adding that if the interceptor-armed aerostats are also relatively low cost and low footprint, they could be even more valuable for supplementing the Ukrainian military's other counter-drone capabilities. This development follows earlier Ukrainian innovations utilizing aerostats in the war, including a sensor system created by Ukrainian firm Kvirtus that was designed to detect and locate enemy drone operators. The war zone highlights that similar elevated platforms have been deployed globally, including the U.S. Army's Joint Land Attack Cruise Missile Defense Elevated Netted Sensor System. Poland has also planned deployments of aerostat-based airspace and surface radar reconnaissance systems, partly in response to Russia's use of low-flying threats. The emergence of this system demonstrates Ukraine's continued innovation in countering Russian drone threats amid ongoing war and uncertain international military assistance. Earlier, a Ukrainian Miltech company, Skift Tech, was awarded a contract by the U.S. Army for the development of advanced laser-based training simulators. This agreement marks the first time a Ukrainian company has been selected for such a project. Positioning Skift Tech alongside major global defense contractors. The Russian army, in an attempt to drive the Ukrainian armed forces out of Sudza, almost completely destroyed the city with airstrikes, that is, it did the same thing as it did with many occupied settlements in Ukraine. While the Ministry of Defense of the aggressor country reports on the capture of Sudza, a video of the destruction in this settlement has appeared on the internet. The footage clearly shows that the city has been turned into virtually complete ruins, with practically no surviving civilian buildings left. The head of the Center for Disaster Relief at the National Security and Defense Council, Andrei Kovalenko, commenting on the footage that appeared on social networks, noted that the Russian army practically destroyed Sudza. Kovalenko also said that the Ukrainian command makes decisions on the operation in Kursk region in accordance with the operational situation. The situation there is currently dynamic. In addition, the occupiers are forcing battles in the border area of Sumy Oblast. The Ukrainian armed forces are responding to these attacks, inflicting losses on the enemy. Parts of the Kursk region have been under Ukrainian control since August, when Ukraine's military mounted a surprise cross-border offensive and quickly captured approximately 500 square miles of land, including the town of Sudza. At the time, the move was seen as an attempt to stretch Russian forces thin across multiple fronts, especially as Ukrainian forces were steadily losing ground elsewhere on their own territory. 
holding Russian territory was also seen as a potential bargaining chip for Ukraine in any eventual ceasefire talks. Russian forces, bolstered by North Korean soldiers, have been battling to try to retake the land and recently stepped up an offensive to push Ukrainian troops out of the region, as Kyiv reeled from the Trump administration's decision to freeze U.S. intelligence and military assistance to Ukraine. With the situation in Sudza increasingly precarious for Ukraine's troops, in recent days Ukrainian officials have suggested an openness to a retreat. President Vladimir V. Putin, dressed in fatigues, visited a command post near the front in Kursk. He praised the Russian military formations that had taken back much of the territory captured by Ukraine in the region and called on the troops to seize back all the territory occupied by Ukraine in Kursk for good.